Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to week number five and six uh, of the database management system course. I am sharing with you uh, the material on Blackboard. As usual, there is a list of objectives and all the uh, materials for uh, the instruction. There's the lesson plan. At the time of this recording, I kept the uh, last term's lecture video as a reference. And then here's a uh, assignment uh, information about the online exercise and detailed instruction on how to install the SQL Server and some reference material from a part uh, from another book uh, on the uh, these two topics. And there are three uh, assignments uh, for these two weeks. Uh, one of them is the online uh, database management. Uh, which I'll talk to you a little bit about a little later, and there is the instruction on how to do that. Uh, major one, uh, now that we have installed uh, a virtual machine uh, using VirtualBox and installed the operating system, now we are ready to install the SQL Server, a database management system, so that we will be able to create a database uh, or use the one that, that's already there or add a database and be able to design one. Uh, and learn how to use them. And so I'll talk a little bit more about how to do this. And then the third item is to do the Zybook Lab um, online uh, platform. I've assigned uh, several of these, and so uh, I will uh, talk about them um, going through the uh, lesson plan. But this is what we have assigned for these two weeks. So when you uh, download the lesson plan, uh, you'll, you'll get one. And so let me pull that up and share that with you. Give me one second here. So here it is. And so here's the uh, lesson plan for uh, five and six. Uh, we have three goals, uh, and that is, uh, as I briefly mentioned to you, install the SQL Server in your virtual box. Learn a little bit about uh, the online SQL Server, not a SQL Server, so SQL uh, database uh, platform, and understand a uh, little bit about what relational database is. Um, so, <clears throat> so the major uh, task of these two weeks is to install the SQL Server in your uh, virtual box. Um, basically, we'll now be following the uh, the book. And let me show you how the book looks like. So this is the book that I'm uh, talking about. Let me get to the uh, the chapter. So here is the um, deploying the um, SQL Server 2012. And uh, this is taking a few minutes. So you can kind of follow through that. Um, and but, but I have made a separate instruction for you. So let me bring that up for you to look at it. So in the Blackboard, under the, um, actually, uh, I think this is the right page. Um, under the instructional material, there is a, a detailed inst instruction on how to do that. So if you click on it, and it will download this. Let me bring that up. So let me move this guy out of the way. Well, I'm just going to So here is a long uh, but detailed instruction on how to, what to get the download, how to, which one to select. And so uh, follow through this, um, and they should give you a good direction on how to do all that. Um, just a couple comments about the overall. Uh, plan on taking about two to three uninterrupted uh, hours to do this. So uh, it'll take a while. Uh, make sure you uh, kind of follow through and and pay attention to the details that, that I'm asking you to do, especially the, the ones that are highlighted. All right. So let me go back to the um, here. So uh, that's basically what's in the, uh, the textbook that I showed you, but follow the one that I made, especially because there are, is a typo in the book that I corrected in the instruction. Okay. Um, the next assignment, and then take a screenshot. Um, so let me 
put that on here. Well, I think it'll be in that uh, um, um, document. So I take a screenshot and then submit it. All right. Uh, maybe I'll just put it in here for now. So yeah, I just typed it in here for you to take a screenshot and then submit. Uh, the next item is to uh, for you to be aware of a online uh, platform. There are many um, online uh, database management platform they can uh, utilize, but I just want you to be aware of at least one that seems to be popular. And so let me bring that on here for you uh, in one second. But actually, let's take a look at the, the instruction that's in the in the uh, blackboard. So when, when you go there, here is the uh, online exercise. So if you click on it, you get the download. So uh, I'd like you to go here, sqlfiddle.com, and then just follow the exercise uh, that I've out outlined for you. This is should be a very straightforward uh, just you know just following the instruction but let me kind of do that well let me start from the way that you would start so click on this guy here it'll take you over here right uh, this one get rid of this one and so this is the SQL fiddle and one, uh, there are a few uh, nice features that this uh, website has and that is if you look at over here, here is a list of all the uh, platforms you can use. You can use a MySQL, Oracle, and things like that. But since we're using the SQL Server, uh, we'll use just this one. We're not using 2017, but uh, the stuff that we're doing should be fine. So click on this guy first. And then generally the way we are going to use is to uh, type the script here to uh, build the, um, uh, the schema or uh, the tables. And then we'll, after the tables are built, we'll issue SQL commands here to manipulate uh, the data, and then this will uh, output whatever we wanted to uh, we're looking for. But as an exercise of getting uh, to know this platform, there is a view sample uh, script. So you can just click on this one, and it'll uh, populate uh, the prescribed uh, script here for you. So here is the uh, command for creating a table and this is only creating one table and then it's going to populate the table using these values um, and then what you want to do is you click on the build schema and then the schema is ready so that all this stuff is uh, built for you and it also populated some SQL commands to select these two columns from the table that was created over here we would normally uh, type this in but as an example they already typed it for you. And then you just click on the run SQL here, and when you click on them, it executes this command against uh, this uh, table here, and it's taking a, a little bit, uh, uh, but it, it gives out the output of what you're looking for. And therefore, here's two columns, product name and description, product name and the description, and uh, from this table, and then it gave you the uh, actual data. So uh, I just want you to kind of do this, take a screenshot of the whole thing, and then submit. All right. So let me go back to the, uh, the lesson plan. So right here. Uh, so that's what that is. And then for the um, assignment in the Zybook, uh, I'd like you to uh, do the uh, chapter two relational database on these uh, uh, four items. And so um, I will talk about them as I am going to demo this, what's in over there, all right? So I'm gonna put this on the side. And then I'll bring up the Zybook. So I logged in directly to the Zybook so I can kind of go navigate easily and since I'm not actually doing the homework myself, here are the uh, four items that uh, that I mentioned to you that you'll be doing. And let's see if I can make this a little bit out of the way. Well, maybe this is okay. But anyway, so uh, here is a chapter two, a relational database. And let's look at the database model here. 
Um, so here is the uh, well, maybe I could use the lesson plan here a little bit easier if I actually go in. But anyway, the relational data my, uh, model. Uh, this chapter uh, talks a uh, little bit about the history. So take a look at that. And then uh, let's see. Here is the relational uh, model uh, kind of working definition uh, of you know the data structure that is prescribed, how they're organized, and the operations that they manipulate the data and structure and rules that govern them. Seems a little vague in general. Uh, so maybe the easiest way, which is not really accurate, is some people just uh, look at it and say, oh, does he use tables? And the tables are related. Uh, as a relational uh, model, but you know, if that makes that's a good starting point, and we'll have to fine tune it as we go through. Uh, but uh, how does it look like? Um, it looks like uh, here's some uh, tables, uh, and they're related with one another in uh, you know particular ways, and we're going to use a SQL Server 2012 uh, Studio Manager uh, Management Studio to get in. Uh, access it and then here are some databases as a, a screenshot as to how we're going to manipulate that. But that's how that looks like if you're kind of curious. All right. Um, and then the next section uh, talks about the, the elements which are the tables uh, which is made up of the columns and rows. So this is a table that, uh, that uh, uh, this diagram is referring to and so uh, and it has a uh, some column with IDs you can name them whatever you want to name them and then there's some data uh, but maybe this is a little bit better um, see if there's one maybe that in here uh, but as you can see there are some different columns here but there's also, um, if uh, we need to talk about what the data types should be, right? So uh, we'll, we'll talk about that more as we go through them. Um, in terms of the data types, uh, it could be like integer character and stuff like that. And one of the value that, uh, although I'm not making you do this, is that uh, what's called a null, right? So the null is really a, uh, a value that has nothing in them, nothing uh, in such a way that it is not a zero or blank, just null means not, nothing, all right? So, and you uh, put the value in as a null by actually typing the word null to it, all right? So we'll talk more, much more about this when we actually uh, use uh, these things but I'm just assigning a little bit uh, so that you kind of know uh, what we're talking about and get a, a better start. But something that you will also get to know as we talk about the, the tables in a relational database is what's called a primary key and a foreign key. And a primary key and a foreign key is how, uh, so let's say we have this table here and we have a whole bunch of rows or the records and you want to assign them a, an ID so that we can sort them and uniquely identify them, right? So that's, you, that's what's called a primary key. We, you, we use a prim, primary key to uh, uh, identify them and then uh, sort them, right? Uh, arrange them. Um, we also use a, uh, a foreign key. And the foreign key is a key that's in a table that refers to a primary key in another table so as to re relate them, right? If here's a table and here's another table and they're not related, um, so this record, uh, if you want that to be tied to some other uh, table uh, because it gives more information about that, uh, is how we use the foreign key to relate them. And you may say, why bother relating them at all? Why don't we put it all together as in Excel? Well, Excel can be a good, uh, you know, a way to store a lot of uh, values, uh, but you know, it's really not a database per se. So uh, we're going to be using a lot of a primary key and a foreign key to uh, establish what we call the referential integrity. 
so that there are uh, no duplicates and there are no issues about the relationship. So that's what this referential integrity uh, is. That foreign key is actually referring to, if you have a foreign key, it better be uh, uh, related to another uh, table. And the way it's going to be related uh, by is using the, uh, the uh, pointing to a primary key. So I know that may not make a lot of sense, but look through it. And then when we actually do some of the exercises, it'll make a lot more sense to you. Okay, but anyway, so that's what that um, exercise is. Let me uh, bring in the lesson plan here. So what's coming down uh, uh, later is uh, just the overview. You know, we install the virtual box, and then we install the operating system. Now we're installing the SQL Server. And then the next time, uh, the next task is to install a sample database called the AdventureWorks. So uh, after that, we're done with all the installations. Um, so a lot about database management system is, uh, you know, some people just kind of maybe think of it as a SQL, uh, but that's only a small part of what how to manage a database. And so uh, you know, all this exercise about installing uh, would be a good uh, exercise for you. So anyway, that's what we have in store for these two weeks. Uh, I went through the uh, the lesson plan here, and let me go back and see if there's any other items that I have not mentioned. So I think I talked about all this stuff, so I'll post up the uh, lecture video and replace it with the previous one as soon as I'm done. Well, um, looking forward to receiving uh, work from you, and otherwise have a good week. Take care. Bye-bye.